Welcome into the week four locker room. Jamie McCracken, Josh McKinney. Jamie, a boatload of big games on the schedule tonight. We start with our game of the week, some helmet taps. Number one, Belfry. Number nine, Pikeville. This game is always big. Defending state champions, both the Panthers and Pirates. That's right. And you look at Belfry. I mean, they are rolling right now. Pikeville has one loss against Paintsville. I was out. Talked to Chris McNamee way back earlier in the week. And I, and I know we also talked to Philip Haywood a little bit earlier as well. Here's what Coach Haywood had to say about some of the game prep the guys went through this week. Our focus has been better. Uh, we're working, you might say, practicing with a purpose. And because of that, I feel like our team's improving. And hopefully it'll show up a little more Friday night as we play, as we get a little more continuity in our offense and our defense and, and just the whole game itself. Now, of course, this game is at Pikeville. It's at the Hambly Athletic Complex. Remember what happened back in 2014 when Belfry visited Hambly? Pikeville won. Then you're right. <laughs> you're right. So you know, it's going to be. I had to think about that. Why did I have to think about that? Yes, they got beat. So you know the atmosphere is going to be intense. Blake Charles on the atmosphere tonight. I think it'll be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That'll be because we won one A, they won three A. So people are going to expect a lot out of both teams. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Should be fun. West side of the coverage area, the complete opposite from from Pikeville. We got. These two teams, Rock Castle, Pulaski, number six, number five, at Pulaski County. The Rockets undefeated. Pulaski, they've got that one loss. Could this be Rock Castle's year to get the Maroons? I mean, Scott Park, he's got the Rockets going. We'll see. I know tonight will be a very tough challenge. Pulaski County coming off an idle week. Don't want to play them. John <laughs> Hines will have his kids rested. Matt Hendricks, he's been doing some things at quarterback uh, while Wiley Kane is out. We'll see what happens. I know Jalen Conwell was first on the depth chart when John Hines uh, emailed that to us this week. So look for Jalen Con Conwell to get a lot of carries tonight. Just down the road from Pulaski County, number four, Southwestern versus a team. Belfry could see down the road, yeah. number two, an undefeated Corbin that game. Another big atmosphere. No postseason implications like right. the other ones, but this one should be a big time football game. And the one team that Southwestern lost to was Danville. Who did Corbin beat last year <laughs> fill in, or last week? Who fill in the blank? Danville. Danville. Corbin's undefeated. This is a tough stretch of games, but Justin Haddix has his Red Hounds going. We'll see again what happens there because I think it's a great measuring stick for both teams. Those three games and a lot more tonight on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime. But until then, for Jamie, I'm Josh. We'll see you at six.